You deserve your own floating stage, bro. Hey, I'm telling you. I'm, yeah. Check this out, Casper. This is this is. Uh huh. This is uh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm Let's right. kick it. <laughs> you don't know the words to the song? No, bro. <laughs> is that your street cred gone? Here we go. All right, stop. Stop. Collaborate and listen. And listen. Ice is back with my brand new invention. Woo! Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. And Will it ever stop, yo? I don't know. Yeah. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and wax a chump like a candle. Dance! <laughs> <laughs> My man, I will be your opening act at Philip the yeah, I think Stadium. I, I think I'm too. I'm scared that you intimidate me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give you the stage. You rock it too much, then you know people won't enjoy my show. I wouldn't do that. So dope, man. It's so hard to actually memorize lyrics. So it's it's actually dope what you just did. Well, I tell you, every white teenager. Back in 1991, when that song came out, knew those lyrics. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, guarantee yeah. you, I can. Any caller can call up now. Yeah, they should and, actually. And and and, and I, <laughs> I challenge you to do those lyrics. Um, it's only he's he's my favorite, right? Yeah, and then yeah. is Vanilla Ice your, fa your favorite? My, my favorite. He's the rap god to me. Uh, look at rap god. Look at surprise. Look at <laughs> Do you have any other songs you know by him? No, he only had, it was a <laughs> one. So one he a rap god with you know, one song. Yeah. You know, one was enough. Oh. One was enough. <laughs> it was that good. He was like, did one song, dropped the mic, walked out. I've done it. Yeah, and then. The second best guy is Macklemore. Oh, For real? <laughs> no, no. Dude, you're embarrassing us now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to Darren, Breakfast Express has no street cred. Oh. <laughs> no. Sorry, Casper, it's not usually like this. No, let me tell you. I hope not, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like this. It's like this. I ride home the top down elbow out the window. I'm yeah. gonna pop some tags. <laughs> yeah. Twenty dollars in my pocket. <laughs> Rap God, man. He's got two albums. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like one big song, like two big songs. That's it. Whoa. Nah, nah, I, I kid. No, well, I don't. But um, <laughs> but Brad, Brad will drop the names. Brad is the expert in, in rap. Yeah, he's gonna throw you Wu Tang. He's gonna throw you all those guys. I mean, who's your favorite of favorite rap artists? Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. As a lyricist. Uh, I mean, yeah, because you know, I think it, it's just relatable. Like some people, yeah. I, I'm not political, so you know, like. Kanye's lyrics appeal to me because, like, I'm a dreamer. You know, I dropped out of school. You know, I'm against the system, independent, yeah. you know, like, outspoken. So, like, when I listen to Kanye, I could just hear myself. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not like okay. Nas or I, I, I'm not a politician. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Hmm. I think so. He's my favorite, my favorite. I don't, that's not like saying he's like the greatest of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's like my, my favorite, my I think personal favorite. And what yeah. you're saying that was similar with uh, Tupac. It wasn't like that he was technically the most gifted rapper. It yeah. was the importance of what he said and how it landed. That's why Tupac is like yeah. probably the greatest of all time for me over yeah. Biggie. And some people will say Biggie because of like, you know, uh, like the flows and how technical yeah. he was and what we were saying. But I think... Tupac because of like the impact of his music in yeah. my life and in the hoods and stuff like that. For sure. Yeah. Vanilla is also my <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you know what? He has you know shots what? of Amarula and shots of sours. Oh, I, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to say to you that's what's real to you. Like I think yeah. like you know I'm I'm realizing this now like the world gets caught up in you know their own opinions and they they make them facts. Yeah. But if someone comes out and say, yo, Vanilla is the greatest, to me, that to you, that could be true because maybe that's the first hip-hop song you heard because he was white or something. Like, yeah. Yeah, to was. you, that, could be, that mm. could be the truth. And then, so. after that, um, was um, Coolio with Gangsta's Paradise. That's oh, crazy. wow. Mm. No, seriously. It was like that a one-hit wonder, right? Yeah, also, he was yeah. as well. So you see, I like so the one-hit like wonder, one guys. Hit yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you like hitting it once. I mean... <laughs> 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 All right, listen, more with Casper in your best. We'll take your calls and your questions as well. And Amo, this is the Breakfast Express. You can check this out on Facebook, 947 Breakfast Express. Lovely to have you here, my friend. Thank you.
dark chocolate because uh, I had dark, dark chocolate. Uh, <laughs> and I couldn't find the song. And so he told me one day, listen, um, it's dark chocolate. And then I downloaded like a whole bunch of other things and I found this one and I bought the album and I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a cool story. So, I'm so sorry. You but I, I can't understand chocolate. how you got to dark chocolate. So you thought I was... I was saying I was referring to myself it as a dark chocolate. I'm, I'm sorry to say that you <laughs> <laughs> I wake up in the morning feeling like dark, dark chocolate. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. I think that's a cooler song. I think that should have been the song. Actually. Hey, it, it could a be remix. a could be yeah. a Cadbury ad. Yeah, true. Hey? Oh, yeah. You shouldn't have said their name. Cadbury phoned me. Yeah. I've got ideas. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Such a cool story. Cool, Leanne. Yeah, sure. Shot guys. Thank Ciao. you. Yeah, she, Pleasure. She said shotgun. Shot guys. Shot guys. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't hear or speak very well, that lady. <laughs> I thought, no, I thought she was saying shotgun because on the song I say shotgun long something. So I thought. I no, she would have heard shot guys. Oh, I. There's probably another misheard <laughs> lyric there. <laughs> Lovely call, Leanne. Cool story. We've got Ken Phonic on. Good morning, Ken Phonic. Hi, how are you doing? Isn't Ken Phonic a group? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Yo. Are you a group, Ken Phonic? Uh, no, I'm, I'm a. Yes, I'm a group actually. I'm Casper. 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 Yeah, what's up, bro? Hi, Casper. How you doing? I'm okay, man. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yo. On hold. What are they doing? They so much excitement. <laughs> they just couldn't even think. Yeah, yeah. That's when you use the wrong network. You need to get on MTN, baby. <laughs> 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 All right, lots of questions. We'll take some cold calls now. Line four, good morning. Who's this? Good morning. How's it? Can you turn your radio down off in the background there, please, man? Cool, the radio. Awesome, thank you. You got a question for Casper? Um, yes, I do. Okay, go for it. I, uh, just like to find out, I see Casper and your vest is training at the hot box gym. Uh, I want to see if he's brushing up on his boxing field skills. No, uh, in the States and... Uh, Knock yeah. a couple of the oaks out that have got that are ragging him about his stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. Um, uh, I was actually shooting a video. Actually, there's a new uh, video I was shooting that's dropping um, on Saturday after the awards for a song, a new song of mine called "Too Legit to Quit." So, uh, but I met like a couple of cool boxers, you know, and I'm gonna start taking boxing classes, but just for fitness, you know. I don't really like fighting, so it's just like a fitness thing. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Gasper, let me just tell you, my brother, every single white man in South Africa breaks it down to your beats. Let me just tell you that. Shut up, oh. man. Thank you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Gasper, <laughs> cheers, yeah. my brother. Thanks, man. Awesome, buddy. Like, all the white fans I meet are so cool. Like, some other dude was driving right next to us and he was playing the song and he was screaming, Yeah, bro, Doc, Doc, Chevelle is a forever, bro. <laughs> and I was like, It's so cool, you know, like. We do lose our minds every now and then. Yeah. Because we, we try and, and, like, be a part of the genre. True, I feel and, you. Yeah, and we try to be all street and. And I, I feel you. I, I get where it's coming mm. from. It's like, you know. Bring out the thug in you, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thug life, Casper. <laughs> thug life, you know. You know what I'm saying. It, it, you know what I'm saying. Yo, even like uh, the, like one of the the owners that the owner AG Mobile. Like when we have, like when we started meeting, when we didn't really know each other, they were they were always like trying like act like very thug, <laughs> you know, around me. And I'm like, you know, I'm actually not a thug. I'm like very chilled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People think hip hop is like gangster music. It's mm. actually not. Yeah, but it's yeah. cool. It's all love, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it it shows a lot of enthusiasm, which is really dope. You need to write like an article on how to to be street, because we go. There's we get nothing the, like that. First of all, there's nothing like that. Because we get the Fubu pants, we <laughs> wow. turn the cap no, backwards, nobody wears and we Fubu, wear the bro. LA Lakers shirt. Nobody and wears street. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to drop some rhymes. All right, cool. You do you have Do you have a new so verse? Far. Nobody wears Fubu. First yeah. of all. <laughs> <laughs> in South you Africa see, street, you see I'm, I'm rocking LS like it's like an old uh you know street yes. where like mm. label we used to rock in the hood. Yeah. And I, like I just brought it back, you know what I mean? You'll see everybody rocking mm -hmm. LS everywhere now. So we don't rock Fubu anymore. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people rock their own labels as well. I've got my own uh merchandise that I yeah. rock. Yeah, so Fubu I don't even think Fubu 
I don't think they're around. No, but it, yeah. it was a thing at one stage. Hey, listen, we've got Lala yeah, from Kilani on. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Lala has it. Hey, guys, what's good? Hi, Lala, you sound bubbly. I am bubbly because I'm talking to you. Oh, Yo, my goodness, I can't even breathe. My heart is beeping so fast. Oh, my gosh, hi, Kat. Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> I just wanted to say, like, personally, thank you so much for giving me one of the best nights of my life last year at Philip the Dome. Thank you for, and... ex- for, for explaining, because everybody started looking at me funny in, in the studio, and you said, I gave you the best night of your life. <laughs> we, we were like, how? You know, Lala. Yeah. And he said he was single. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, did you see the DVD last night? Of course, I saw the DVD, and I recorded it. And can I just say, I have been saving for like three weeks to get the, a ticket to fill up an stadium, and I'm going to buy it this morning. I absolutely cannot wait to see what you have in store. Thank and you. yeah, big up. Like, oh, I have a question, like a quick yeah. question. Yeah. What are you filling up after Orlando Stadium? Yeah, after we do Orlando Stadium, hopefully we'll sell out. Uh, we'll be doing... He's uh, filling up his bank account. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to talk about money, man. Uh, the after, F&B. The yeah, F&B. F&B. Uh, yeah. uh, after filling up Orlando Stadium, I'm doing my last, uh, you know, fill-up concert, which will be F&B, which is, I think, uh, where the capacity is 90,000, but with the stage we want to build, it'll be a 65,000 uh, mm-hmm. people show. And that's the last one I'll be doing. Sure. So, uh, but right now, go and get your tickets for Philip Orlando Stadium, which is next week. It's only eight days. Yep, oh, no, I'm definitely doing that. Thank you so much. You Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Lala. Hola. Cool, Lala. Ciao. Uh, we got Gift on. Gift has it. Hey, how's it, guys? How's the family? Cool, Yo, man. Hello. Awesome. How's it in your van? Sure, who's it? I thought I was part of the family. Uh, <laughs> my guy. But you What's are, up, man? How are you doing? You are, fam. This is lit. <laughs> oh, good. You are, fam. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, stop it. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Oh, it's lit. Uh, I just want to say to you, man, um, <laughs> last night, <clears throat> excuse me, last night, oh, I also didn't sleep, by the way, um, turning up to your fill up the dome DVD. I had my own champagne showers in here. Um... I just want to say that uh, watching the Philip the Dome DVD last night really um, took me back, man. You showed us one of the greatest shows um, Africa has ever put, produced. Um, you, you, you've done well in such a short period of time. And I just want to say to you, man, um, remain humble as you are. Um, I've, met, I've met you in a couple of occasions and you never said no to a fan in a, in a rude way or anything like that. But I just want to say to you, man, Big up. I we never, got I never throw your phones away, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> no. yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Moving right along. Uh, I'm joking, man. Thank you, man. Thank you for the yeah, support, man. man. I, like, you know, I, and I'm, reali- I'm realizing it more and more every day, like, that my existence is through, you know, the love of the people. Like, you know, you guys yeah, give yeah. me the power to live out my dreams. And I yeah, just yeah. want to thank you guys so much because, you know, like there's a lot of things that I go through, like you know, airplay and 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 politics and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. you guys just through you guys buying my products and supporting me, like I'm a, I'm able to survive and feed my family. So. Thank-